Hey guys, Moan Pober here and today I'm going to talk about how to read more. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pober and I'm here to share with you and document my journey. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses and I'm here to share with you things that worked for me, things that didn't work for me and also give you different ideas or different topics and bring them back to business and show you how you can, uh, I guess, implement them in your life. So. This is what this channel is all about. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the notification button because I'm posting daily and make sure you subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. And also see the links in the description below. There's lots of free value there and just go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz to see all of them if you want. So many people ask me, how, should, how can I read a lot? I wanna learn about business. I think I need to read hundreds of books this week alone to become successful. How do I read a lot? So first of all, if you don't know, watch some of my other videos, but I'm basically more about implementing less books versus reading more books and having access to too much knowledge without execution and accountability. So that's my first thought. But then whenever you have free time, and I think it's always good to, especially when you have some free time, go and read some books and get some more knowledge. And it, 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 I think it's really important to have perspectives of different successful people. That's why I think books are so good because Many times you literally get years worth of experience and knowledge from very successful people who put everything into one book. And I think it's very, very important to literally get their vibe just by reading their books. It's almost like hanging out with them. Obviously, it's not the same, but it's the closest things you can do with some of those people. Some of them are not even alive anymore. So how can you read more? How can you get more info? For me personally, I like it less to, to read, to actually read books. I found out that it's... Um, I don't know, maybe because I'm very ADD and when I was young, I just, I didn't have, I didn't, it, I was having a hard time to, to do that. So right now my, my way of doing it is I, I mostly listen to audiobooks. I put everything on Audible, uh, just go and check that app. It, it's, it's with Amazon and every book that I'm even thinking of reading or listening to one day, I'm just putting it in on my phone. And whenever I have free time and I'm talking, even when I'm like walk, going to somewhere, walking somewhere or... Literally, sometimes when I eat, I just put some, uh, just put my headphones and, and listen to audiobooks. And for me personally, I like to put it on double speed, on, on two times. And it just feels like I'm, I'm actually more productive and I'll listen to more of them. And I mean, if you, if you check, like a regular average book is around eight hours. And when you put it on double speed or even two and a half times, depends on how concentrated are you. Um, I think it's, it's very doable to listen at two and a half speed or especially two. And if you're not used to it, just listening to it for a while and you'll see you'll get used to it you'll get to a point like right now when i'm listening to things on on regular speed it feels too slow to me and you'll get used to it so don't be afraid if it's at first it feels like too much but if you listen to books at two times speed you literally just need four hours to finish a book and trust me you have a lot of time that you're spending every day like walking somewhere or eating or even in the gym. In the gym itself, I don't like to personally listen to books just because I'm not concentrated. I want to fully concentrate on the workout. But walking to the gym or going back from the gym or driving somewhere, I think it's, it's really, really good for you. And it's going to put, like, I'm sure you can find at least 30 minutes a day of listening to your headphones. And it's going to, that's going to literally like reading a book for one hour. And I think it's a tremendous value that you can get. And remember, books are, you don't need to remember everything about the book. Like I know people who, who felt like they weren't focused on like five minutes of the book and then they, they have to go back. I don't think it's that important. I think it's more important. You need to be like a detective looking for very specific things or very small, simple ideas throughout the book. That's what you really get from a book. And mostly try to get literally the vibe of the author. I think that's very, very important. Really just try to feel how he thinks about different perspective or different things that happen to him in life. That's what you can really, <clears throat> sorry, get a lot from, from uh, uh, yeah, just listening to those people who are very, very successful, put everything in those books. For me personally, I also like to listen to summaries. Like, so in Audible, instead of buying the actual book, many times you can just buy the summary of that book. And instead of listening to eight hours, you can basically listen to the summary, which is like 40 minutes. And if you double speed, it's like 20 minutes and you can get the main uh, bullets of that book. And then you can just bring in so many more ideas into your life. And in the end of the day, you find out that whatever book you read, especially if it's like a how-to book or just a self-development or a business book, 
they're all eventually talking about the same principles. So it's your goal to just get a different perspectives on some of those principles. And same goes with literally just every book, health, wealth, love, happiness, right? Whatever topic you're choosing, it's about eventually, especially if you're young, finding what are those fundamentals and basics that you need to always get back to and just literally remind yourself about those fundamentals. And also remember that it's not about having that knowledge, it's about do you know about that knowledge? And when I'm saying that, I'm asking you, let's say you know that in order to get in shape, you need to eat well or eat less if you want to lose weight and work out. Yes, you can read hundreds of books on how to work out or how to eat well. The question is, do you actually do that? And that's, I think, the biggest thing you can take from a book is actually, instead of reading a book and getting more knowledge, actually study a book and implement those books and that's why personally i really like to 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 really get results i feel like getting to high-end masterminds are really really good when you get like accountability and support and that's where you can really get results and in the end of the day especially nowadays it's all about getting results because information is out there it's not about more information to be successful it's about execution and implementation of things that's the way to get results so and if business is the way for you to go and you want to learn, I'm highly into the space of buying existing business versus starting one from scratch. If you want to learn more about that and, and get free value on that, go to moanpaber.com forward slash quiz. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comment below what is your favorite, favorite book. I'd love to hear. And hit the notification button. Make sure you, you won't miss any, any new video because I'm posting daily. And let me know if you, you have um, some personal tricks on how to read fast. I know that there are many speed reading um, techniques, which I, I took a course on speed reading. And I sometimes do read books like that when I don't have the audiobook. But personally, I just enjoy the audiobook so much more. It's just literally like having for me a conversation with something, someone. And I just, I, at least personally, I relate to that much more. I only read book nowadays when I just don't find it in, in audio. Uh, but let, let me know in the comments below, what are your techniques to read more or what are your favorite, favorite books? I'd love to, to check them out. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.